my channel i hope you're all well and having a fantastic day so today again is yes it's day two of vloggers i hope you guys have already caught up with day one if you haven't then i'll leave the link here and go and check that out don't forget to give us a thumbs up leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel welcome welcome i hope you guys love anything uh mama life kids and beauty and today we have i have got another beauty haul that literally this palette just turned up today so yeah i thought i'd jump on and share it with you so without further ado let's get into the video but before we do go and grab a cuppa okay so today girlies i am going to review the xx revolution kombucha collection Com not kombucha kombucha collection which is this beautiful just look how gorgeous the packaging is i thought this would go quite well with the uh with the theme so this is what we're going to try out today i've bought the whole collection so it consists of a eyeshadow palette so xx revolution is a brand within the Re revolution beauty website company and uh this is skin and makeup combined to give you a lovely you know your skin the goodness it deserves as well as dolling yourself up so here is the palette look at how stunning that is absolutely beautiful and this is what the inside looks like as you can see absolutely stunning and i think it goes quite well with my dress so that's the eyeshadow palette then we have a kom kombucha spritz it's a blur and mattifying primer which i'm very intrigued to um see so it's very shimmery it's going to create an immediate mattifying and blurring effect so i'm really looking forward to giving that a try then we have a brow and lash serum so we have here the lash and brow serum and i'm absolutely loving the packaging so give them a little give that a little go brow and lash are you can you mm. Nice way to grow your brows, isn't it? Then we have the Volume Lengthen Define Mascara. Ooh, that's a nice brush. Okay. So here we have Peach and Apricot. I can definitely smell peach in that. Mmm, that smells really nice. So that's that one. Then we have Blackberry and Raspberry. As you can see, they've got a slight tint to them. Okay, so this is Raspberry and Blackberry. Yeah, that smells. I think they all go clear on the skin, on the lips though. We'll we'll check that out. And then lastly, we have cherry and plum. I think I'm gonna go for this one. So that is the cherry and plum. Is that what I said? Hmm. They all actually smell really nice together, but there's come out I think all clear as you can see. So that is the three lip oils. Okay, I also went ahead and bought the explicit shadow palette is the uh, big and it's all the pink shades i thought i'd go treat myself to that and i also went for the creative volume one palette as well which i will review those on a later date if you want to check that out so let's get into reviewing this kombucha collection so kombucha is quite a beneficial ingredient in skincare and makeup because it lightly exfoliates the skin and brightens and evens the skin tone as well as reduce fine lines and dark spots uh, on top of that it actually has anti contains antiseptic qualities and natural acids which can balance the skin's ph levels for a clearer complexion so yeah that's what uh this is all about and uh yeah i'm intrigued to get it on and see if this does blur everything out let's get this on so this is a sprit okay that's it I feel like that's just going to spray in one place, so let's give it a try. Yeah, that is no good. That's literally just gone into my face there. Um, I'm going to spray this onto a brush, I think. I'm just wondering if the glitter is what's going to make it so it makes it more blurry. I've even, I've even got it in my hair. Oh my god. I'm not quite sure how to apply that. No, it's it's literally spraying in one place, so I'm not really keen on that. And I've put it in my hair again, so yeah, we'll see. But, uh, hmm, kind of mattified, but I can see where the blurring comes in because it does look a little bit, like, you know, smoothed out there. But anyway, we'll see. Right, I'm just going to quickly put my foundation on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've just applied my, it's like a tinted moisturiser, that's what I'm using. But I'm finding that I've got dry patches. Let me just zoom in so you can see. Don't know if you can see, but just right here, I don't normally get that. And then 
here as well I there's something in this primer that's reacted to my skin and it's kind of giving it like um like a crystallization just there so when I'm blending it in with my brush it's hmm not sitting right but and then you can see here as well it's all dry patches and that never happens um yeah so maybe is it because I need to it's like the the, the glitter has crystallized strange that let's get on to the lash serum so we get some lash serum in and just apply a coat of that before we put some mascara on like to uh, treat our lashes okay and then i'm just going to put that in my brows as well we'll do a quick swatch of these as well so you guys can see the colors there's no names it's just all numbers so we're going to go from the top i'll do the top two rows all across here quickly then the big uh, row and then the last two rows i'll do on this side okay so here is the top row the first row right there oh god i've done it slightly slanted have i so that is the first row there. This colour here, which is the third one in, number three, I had to swatch it a few times because it really wasn't showing up. But it's a really nice natural nude as well, so that's cute. Let's go on to the second line. So that is the second row of colours right there. Let me just zoom in so you can see. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's like a mustard colour, isn't it? These are the five big palettes in big pans in the palette. I love this colour here. It's swatched out really nice. Um, I'd probably use this as a blusher. It seems like it could get away with a blusher. It's really cute. And then this as well, you could even have as highlighters. So that's what the big pans are in the palette. Let's go over to the last two rows of the palette and then uh, we'll get it on our eyes. Okay, so this is the four, third row in the palette. They're very, very light this side. You have to really swatch at them. I mean, there's a colour actually there and it's um, a very light nude. Let me just go through the, put it on again so you guys can see. Very, very light. Can't even see it showing up. Just about see it there. I don't think it's their best formula they've actually created. But hopefully it goes better on the eye than it does me swatching it. Okay, so let's go back to this. So we've got the last row to show and then I'll get a look created. Okay, and this is the last line of shadows uh, in the palette. I love this and the texture of this colour as well. It's swatched on really nicely. I do like that. So yeah, that's them. Right then, let's get something on the eyeballs, shall we? Just going to put some primer on. Blend that out. Right, let's get this eye look created because let's see what we're going to do. Um, don't know where to start or what to do. Let's go in with this orange here. And then we'll go and blend it out with the yellow. You think I can do this on this eye? I'll be right back and do it. Okay, I'm back. I have done the other eye. Now we're just going to go in with the mascara. So I have this gorgeous mascara and it's going to strengthen, um, yeah, make them fuller and volumize. So let's give it a try. 
I like the brush, it's really cute. And my lashes are liking it too. Okay, so mascara is on. Maybe a little bit of a boo boo there, so I'm just gonna take the brush that I used that shade. That's it. Okay. A uh, bit of eyeliner. Eyeliner's on. I'm not putting any falsies on because I really can't be bothered. But I just want the natural look anyway. So let's go quick go in with some bronzer. Going in with my Marc Jacobs standard. Okay. You know what? That the spray went into my hair and it's kind of made what how it affected on my skin onto my hair as well. That is so weird. So you have to excuse that. That is not like dangerous or anything. It's the spray, the primer went into my hair. I need to put some blush on, don't I? Let's go in with this one. It's a Primark one. Just found it in the drawer. And it's the Floral Days collection. So you want it very natural. And then let's go in with the Cherry and Blossom. No, Cherry and Plum, isn't it? Lip gloss. Tastes so good. Super shiny uh, lips there. It tastes really good too. And then we're gonna put a bit of highlighter on. Um, what highlighter should we put on? I'm thinking of just taking a little bit of. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with this one here. It's an eyeshadow, but I really like it as a highlighter nice that is it goes with the eyeshadow it's got like a pink tone to it but then it's got the sunset to match the eyeshadow as well okay and that's it and keep it there and then we're done that is the kombucha or kombucha um, collection from XX Revolution eyeshadow palette. Uh, final review. I like the colours. I absolutely love the colours of this palette. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's very summer vibe and you know you can create some gorgeous looks from it. Formulas aren't the best. Yes, hey, hello to madam. Hi. <laughs> um, but I like what I've created. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Will you be getting this? I'd give it a four out of five, yeah. Um, I'll give it a ten out of ten. Okay, thank you very much. The sp this, it's a bit of a weird one. I think I need to give it another try, but so far, I wasn't really impressed with it. And I don't like how it's got, my, it's like dried up my um, hair and made it really bitty. That is definitely this oh. and um it just as i said at the beginning it left it created like you know when you get like um like dry skin and then it i was rubbing it and then while i was rubbing it it was just coming up even more as if i've just got rid of like dead skin cells that's what it felt like um so yeah i'm not mm, i wouldn't I, I wouldn't rush to buy this anyway um then the lip oils obviously i love any lip oil so um, yeah, and I'm sure Madam's going to take one of these as well. The pink one, obviously. I've just put that on. Um, so, yeah, the, the lip oils definitely have them. Because the I mascara, love them. the formula feels really nice on the lashes. It doesn't make them all clumpy together, and I really, really like that. And then, yeah, we'll see about the serum if it does anything to my lashes. But apart from that, <laughs> okay, so that is it, like I said, from today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all tomorrow on another day of Beauty and the Kids. Bye! Bye.